when you are on fire don't brag that you can pray for four hours when you are on fire don't brag the way your body is shaped when you are praying that does not profit you that is childishness how many 40 year old ministers or 50 year old Christians do you see praying like this it happens once in a while depending on where you have entered because every realm you enter in the spirit has an impact on you there's a realm you enter you start laughing you can't control it no matter what you do but you can't laugh every day you are praying there's a realm you enter you start crying you can't control it but you can't cry every day you are praying there's a realm you enter you start shouting like a madman but you can't shout every day you are praying there's a realm you enter the intensity there will burn you so much that it will squeeze you but you can't be squeezed every day you are praying there's a realm you enter you can't stand you will run but you can't be running every day you are praying so when you find a mature believer he doesn't hold the posture he finds the realm it's the realm that determines the operation young people won't like it because they enjoy what they are doing you continue like that after 10 years you will know the difference hope you know we didn't appear here there were people we prayed with and we saw the many caricature they did now they are coming to ask how did you do it because when they should learn how it is done they were wasting their time looking for human applause because young people love gymnastics and so when you are doing it they say this is a man this is the man so when you are looking for fire or when you have fire don't pursue things that don't have value test your fire to the degree that is able to shift demonic influence when you come to a place censor that place and find out what the impact of your presence has there when you have fire check the weight that your prayer commands i will not pray for six hours and i don't see a vision it doesn't engender transformation and it doesn't change anything that's why many people pray brings a deaf person they become humble because their prayer only has weight in time it doesn't have weight in impact that's why you go to many houses of prayer people's destinies are wrecked the teaching ministries that look weak they are the ones that make men because the prayer oftentimes is corrupt by human emotion go and find most of the generous and most of the places where great things are happening they sit them down and teach them truth so whatever they are doing they are doing it from the place of understanding i'm not against any of those things i do all of them happen to me and they happen to the people i raise and train some of us are the greatest advocates of prayer but we don't want you to do it wrongly because destinies are at stake don't do what you enjoy do what is right because your destiny does not depend on what you enjoy it depends on what is right and so when you contact fire you are able to bring government because you can dislodge princes when you contact fire your priesthood can create impact when you contact fire you have received an inheritance and over time it will show when you receive an inheritance in bsu here a point will come everybody will know that you are a man of god and for those of you who are not in ministry it will affect your results your academics it will affect the level of favor on your life and then when you come out of the university that thing will make you stand out it's an inheritance and you will not only stand out anybody you make contact with it will rub off on him that is the proof that something supernatural is at work in your life you can't be struggling and i keep making contact with you and it doesn't affect your status in society you can't be seeking God and I keep making contact with you and it doesn't affect the authority of God on your life. It means what I'm doing is drama. Because when you come around men like David that had fire, 400 broken men can become warriors. Because there is something supernatural there. There is an inheritance that has been received. And finally, when you have fire, you can bring witness. Now, how do you contact fire? Number one, become a sacrifice. Every time a sacrifice is placed on the altar, the fire falls. These are auto mechanisms of the spirit. 
and this is most important than what we will do here this morning when you find men that are always on fire it's because they are living sacrifices you can contact fire and lose it but when you become a sacrifice you are burning all your life so the secret of being on fire on ending is to become a sacrifice because God responds to sacrifices by fire let me show you a few scriptures first Kings 18 verse 38 everything that was happening God was not moved until the sacrifice was placed on the altar the moment Elijah placed the sacrifice on the altar the Bible said the fire of God fell and consumed it God responds to sacrifice but God's response to sacrifice is in the similitude of fire the sacrifice is based on the effect of the fall he has seen that this man is this suffering lost and marriage will stop it and so for the first 35 years of his life he demands absolute purity and consecration and so that thing that man is doing will be a body to his soul because everywhere he sees women his body rises and so God will tell him that energy that you will meet when you see women you will bring that energy to the altar and so that man will discover the only thing that will tame his body is to pray in tongues all night and so he'll be praying in tongues all night not because he wants to see a vision because he wants to tame the body now that prayer all night becomes a sacrifice you will pray like that your result will not be like that man because every time that man stands at night in order to tame the body in the day God sees it as honor to him and that honor becomes a sacrifice on the altar there are some other persons that God notices that they are full of pride and so God will tell them you will never start a ministry all your life you will serve and then the person will be serving all his life that is beautiful but if you are a pioneer and you say because this person is serving all my life you will limit your potential because the sacrifice is predicated upon the wisdom of God his sovereignty and his diagnosis of the impact of the fall upon your soul when you discover God's consecration demand on you and you start keeping it the fire will now rest so when we talk about sacrifice we are not talking about tearing yourself with iron we are not talking about stabbing yourself when we talk about sacrifice we are talking about don't get commitment to consecration God can choose you by his sovereignty you don't need to do anything but they know for God to work with you you need to do everything you will give everything it takes for God to work with you you don't need to do anything for God to choose you God will decide to choose you that's why Judas Iscariot did nothing but for you to remain with God for God to work with you and for God to rest upon you you will do everything and everything is called sacrifice it's a consecration requirement there are many persons that have great graces for those of you who have been Christians for 10 years you know some people that gave their hearts to Christ and began to prophesy from that day you know some people that gave their hearts to Christ and began to pray for the sick and the sick were healed where are they today they didn't do anything for God to choose them but they would do everything for God to keep them the keeping of God is the fire of the Holy Spirit and it resonates on consecration there's a realm you enter where your revelation no longer counts it is your sacrifice that counts when you show up they will not find out what you are saying they will look at you he said in the year that King Uzziah died I saw the Lord and when he saw the Lord they didn't ask him about his gift they didn't ask him about his doctrine they looked upon him and they found out that the man was a man of unclean lips and so because there was no sacrifice to tame his tongue his authority as a prophet was about to be taken up but because of mercy his tongue was purged somebody will be purged tonight and the way you will be purged is that those consecrations you violated three years ago God will reenact it there were some of you who came on campus here God told you until you walk out you will never have a girlfriend there are some of you God told you until you walk out you will never tell anybody I love you but all your friends in 200 level began to boast with boyfriends and girlfriends they began to change with horns. they began to fix eyelashes and when they asked you when you asked them they said their boyfriends gave them you now started feeling lonely that loneliness will be your sacrifice and so when you feel lonely you will present that loneliness to God and as you present that loneliness to God when the oracles of God appear God will see that as a sacrifice and he will rest upon you there are many of you here God told you you will not cheat because he doesn't need your certificate for your destiny he needs your witness for your destiny 
And so even though you have that carryover for three years, you enter the exam hall and suddenly you sat with the scholar. He looked at you stranded. He said, copy. You will look at the answer, but you will also look at your destiny. Because the great one said, don't cheat. You will rather come back for an extra year. You will come back for another extra year. It's either you pay the price to read or you face the shame of failing. But for you to cheat is a sacrifice. You can never try. You want to find out how men become powerful with God. These are the doorways. You don't become powerful with God just by cheaply associating with somebody. You don't become powerful with God simply by doing something that is born out of your senses. You become powerful with God because you pay the price of sacrifice. And when God sees it, he knows that you are dependable. And so the way God validates you to your generation is that he puts his fire upon you. Anything you touch burns. And it is the flame that burns that your generation celebrates. No generation celebrates the face of a man. Every generation celebrates the kind of flame that comes out of you. There are those that carry the flame of purity. There are those that carry the flame of power. There are those that carry the flame of influence. There are those that carry the flame of gifts of the spirit. God will keep burning upon them. And their generation will surround them celebrating. You want to carry fire. You must make up your mind to accept the demands of sacrifice.